Hello, welcome to Fire Friday. Uh, I was going to do a little something different on this Fire Friday and do a video and finish up kind of a series or if you will on some lanterns and then kind of take a break from lanterns for a little while and move on to some other things. But I'm having a little bit of an off day today so we're going to do a short little one on a oil wick or teapot lamp uh, for mining or railroad use and it's this little fella right here so let me change the camera angle and I'll put it on this guy and then we'll talk about it real quick so hang on okay so here is our little teapot or oil wick lamp and this is uh, the handheld version you can see here's my hand that's about you know how big it is so miners would have used these a much much smaller version probably about that big with a little hook and would have gone right on the front of their miners cap and uh, that would have been what they worked by um, prior to this would have been candlelight uh, used uh, either in some type of a sconce or uh, there was a thing called a Tommy stick and it was probably made of some type of wrought iron or whatever and it would have had a spike and then come down with a loop and the candle would have sat in it and you could have held it in your hand or staked it into a crack in the uh, crevi crevice in the rocks or something or knocked it into a joint and some wood or just pounded it into the wood and you'd work by candlelight. So that would have been prior to this guy and then after this guy would have been the calcium carbide lamps. Um, the calcium carbide lamps came into play in the early 1900s so like anything else it's not like there was an exact cutoff date but there would have been a period of time that these probably would have been used in conjunction with at the same time period as carbide lamps until these at some point were just banged up and messed up enough and uh, carbide lamps were more readily used and available and that's ended up just phasing them out. So it's really simple. It's just basically like a funnel with a handle soldered onto it, a cap and a little spout and it's probably about a three quarter inch diameter wick that goes down that tube inside and you fill it up with fluid. Uh, this guy looks like it would have been black. There's lots of remnants of some black paint on it here and there, and, but mostly it's bare tin, kind of rusted over, and then you can see the solder joints on it. Um, it's got a little bit of a little bit of sweating going on. Most of it's coming from like right here where the tube is soldered onto the to the body. Um, I've got it full of fluid and we're going to go ahead and get this guy lit. Now, as far as what I looked up, they were used like railroad or uh, mining uses. Uh, I didn't see any examples of railroad use, maybe a little bit of digging. I, I could uh, find something. If anybody has any information to add, uh, feel free to do so in the comments. Um, but basically, that's what it is. It's a little teapot or oil wick lamp. and. Get ready to light this bad boy up. The, the wick is just sticking out right there just a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and get this guy lit. Happy Fire Friday.